Hi, I'm Julie, a BAM Balzer, and in an earlier video I showed you how to create text in a circle using Canvas Workspace for Mac. But I got a lot of questions from people wondering how to get the text to face in two different directions. So that's what this video is all about. Take a peek. So I'm here in Canvas Workspace for Mac. And here on the screen, I have the original kind of version where the text goes in a circle all the way around, right? But what if you wanted it to say Julie Fay Fan Balzer, and then you wanted the is awesome to also be the same way up. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to create it in two parts and make it look like it's seamless. So first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a circle, make it whatever size I want it to be. Let me just move this other thing out of the way a little bit so that we can have some room. Um, and then I want to duplicate it, which I can do by holding down the option key and clicking and dragging. And then I'll have two of them right here. So I want to now with the text, go ahead and write the first part of my sentence, Julie Feifan Balzer, hit return. And then I want to start a new text box with the second part of that is awesome, return. Now, I want to make sure that my two pieces of text are the same size. So I'm going to select them both at the same time and make them a little bit smaller so that they'll fit around my circle more perfectly. Just, mm, that seems just about right. So I am going to match this Julie Faye fan balls are up with this circle. I'm going to select the two parts by dragging across them. Then I'm going to hold down the control key and click where it says fit to path. I'm going to choose that. And you can see it curves right around the bottom here, which if I just reverse it, is going to be the top. So that's the top part of mine. And this is all set at the default settings. If you look in the properties panel, it's all of these left hand things that are highlighted in blue. Okay, so that's totally fine. For my second piece, I'm going to select both pieces. I'm going to again hit control, click, fit to path. But now I want this is awesome to flip the other way. So over again in the properties panel, instead of saying start to end, I'm going to go end to start. Now, it's all squished up and on the inside. Can you see how this text is on the outside of the blue line as opposed to this text, which is on the inside of the blue line? What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and look at the vertical alignment and change it to top. Now, the is awesome is sitting on the outside of this line. So if I roll this around and I match up these two circles, this is a lot more what you're looking for. Now, one of the things that I think is nice is so that these pieces match a little bit more is instead of doing it on the top, do it in the middle. Now that's going to sit on the circle. And then I can go into the Julie Faye Fan Balzer and I can do the same thing, set it in the middle. And now you can see how nice that looks, one facing this way, the other facing what looks like the same way, but we had to do a little bit of work to get it there. Now, if you want to stretch these out so that they're a little bit longer, so that they come closer to touching, you need to actually release them. So control, click, and release text from path. So now you can see this is fine. And I wanna do the same thing up here. So. In fact, actually, I might not want to because this goes about halfway. I might make this text slightly larger. So I'm just gonna make this bigger. Select both parts, control, click, fit to path. And I'm gonna go through the same thing that we did before. I want the middle, I want it to come the other way. And now I'm going to use the rotate here to get this to come around. And that text is a little bit bigger and I'm okay with that. But if you're not, then you can go ahead and adjust the Julie Faye Fan Balzer. So we're gonna do control click and we want to release the text from path. Let's make the Julie Faye Fan Balzer a little bit bigger. And then let's move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and select these two parts. Control click, convert, sorry, fit to path. 
and then there you can see it right there. So I almost forgot that I need to change this to the middle to match it so that they're both on the middle. Then I'm gonna line up the two blue circles with each other so that they fit. You can play with the rotation if you need to in any way, but if the spacing looks good, I like to select both parts, hit Command G to group them, and then I can maybe rotate it like that so it looks a little bit more how I'm looking. How I'm looking, <laughs> so it looks a little bit more how I want it to. So I'm going to show you, this is the original one I started with, which is your text in a circle. So if you want that text in a circle, there's a video on how to do that. But now you have a video on how to make it so the text goes this way and a that -a way. So I hope you enjoyed this. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my blog at ballsordesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my live online Scan and Cut classes. And of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.